how do I know when to cut away my main? What's the difference between a major malfunction and a minor malfunction? How do I fix a minor canopy malfunction? There was a bunch of comments in my comment section of my last video asking for a follow-up on common malfunctions that we have during skydiving. I'm gonna put those up on here. These are all the comments and this is the video. Disclaimer, I am not a coach nor a skydiving instructor. Everything I say in this video is personal opinion. Take what I say with a grain of salt and always ask a trained professionals before taking action. My name is Salvador Chang and this channel is primarily to document a skydiver's journey to becoming a base jumper and a wingsuiter. I am just trying to share my journey, educate other skydivers who are newbies along the way and hopefully you can learn while also being entertained along the journey. So these are gonna be the three most partial malfunctions that I've seen that are fixable in my opinion. Number one is gonna be line twists. Number two is going to be when your slider gets hung up or gets stuck all the way at the top of your canopy. And number three is gonna be when you're flying your canopy and you have closed end cells. Me personally, I've had all three of these, so they're not, in my opinion, I've, I haven't had a chop yet. Hallelujah. But in my opinion, these are not serious. They can get serious very quickly, but the ones that I have have been minor and I have been able to get out of them. So that's what I'm gonna teach you to do in this video. But that doesn't mean that there aren't limited or there aren't other malfunctions out there. Other malfunctions include line overs, pilot shoot and tow, bag locks, horseshoes, two canopies out, streamers or endless snivels, torn canopies, broken lines, and even pilot shoots over the nose. Or you could have what Chris had in the last video that I posted, which is gonna be spinning line twists, which is a big no-no and in my opinion a major malfunction now we're not going to go over all of those in today's video once again we're going to go over line twists we're going to go over slider hang-ups and then we're going to go over closed end cells and how to fix them so question number one how do i know when to actually cut away my main parachute when is it justified so for the duration of the rest of this video i'm either going to have my shades on or i'm going to have my shades off when i have my shades off it's me talking i'm being personable i'm being the sal that i want to be when i have the shades on i'm being professional sal because you haters love to tear up my comments so let's be professional guys with that being said how do i know when to cut away your main canopy let's go ahead and get into it shades are on the first thing that should come to mind if you have a problem is to check your altitude. If you have a malfunction above your hard deck and it looks like something that you can deal with, maybe the lines are twisted or something you believe you can get out of, then the altitude awareness will give you the time to deal with it. But on the other hand, if it's a malfunction you're not going to be able to solve, then get rid of it immediately and give yourself extra time. If you cannot steer, flare, or properly land your canopy by your hard deck, which is typically by 2,500 feet, you may cut away your main. With that being said, let's go into the differences between the major malfunctions and the minor malfunctions. For this video's purposes, when we say major, we're talking about something that you typically cannot control or it needs to result in a cutaway. And then when we're talking about minor things, these are things that you can fix and that do not necessarily need to be cut away right away unless they lead to a major problem. I hope that made sense. All right, so number one, once again, we have line twists. Number two, we're gonna have the slider hung up all the way up. And number three, we're gonna have closed end cells. Let's get right into the business. Number one, what to do in case of line twists. Let me go ahead and put my shades on. Now there are two main types. There's gonna be spinning line twists and our regular standard line twists. With spinning line twists, it's gonna be classified as a major mal. If the canopy is spinning, diving, and you are not oriented underneath it, so the canopy's here and you are not underneath it, you are horizontal instead of vertical, pull the cutaway handle followed immediately by pulling the reserve rip cord by at least 2,500 feet. Get rid of it. Once again, if the canopy is not giving you love, get rid of it. Just like in the previous video with Chris, he had spinning line twists. He was literally here and the canopy was here and he was spinning like this all the way down to the earth at a high speed. Yeah, that's not good. You want to get away from that as soon as possible, just like Chris did in my previous video. Now on to non-spinning line twists. Determine quickly whether the canopy is flying straight, your altitude, and which way the lines are twisted. Reach above your head, grab the risers, and spread them to accelerate the unwinding. If necessary, throw your legs in the twist direction. Do not release the brakes until untwisted. While you have the risers spread, check your canopy to make sure nothing else is wrong with it. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of those shades. So with line twists, let's say you open up and you have a couple line twists. Everything is fine with the canopy. It's nice and square. It's flying straight in a direction. It might not be the direction that you want, but it's flying straight. We're not spinning. We're good. The only thing you have to do is reach above you. I'm going to play a clip right here. Reach above you and spread the risers or maybe bring the twist down to the risers, which is great as you'll see in this video. But once you go ahead and kind of kick out 
Like for instance, have you ever been playing on a swing as a little kid? You get the chains locked up or in twists. All you have to do is kind of kick your way out and then eventually you'll spin in the same direction of the twist. So basically act like you're on a swing and just kick your way out of the, the problem. And then before you know it, you'll have a beautiful canopy up and over your head that you will be able to hopefully land, steer and flare. Yeah. And I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, why aren't we you jumping right now? It looks like a beautiful day. Well, if you look at these flags, the winds will let you know exactly why we're not jumping today. I'm pretty sure the last gust that we got was like to 26 or 24 knots, something ridiculous like that. So that's why I'm not jumping as much as I'd like to be in the air. Cause honestly, these videos are cool and fun and stuff, but I just want to send it. And I miss just getting out of the plane and eating it with my friends. It's so much fun. It's my favorite thing to do. Number two, what to do in case of a slider hang up. I'm gonna show you guys a video of a slider being stuck all the way at the top. And as you see here, this guy doesn't pump his brakes. He doesn't do anything. He just cuts away. Maybe we can use this as a learning experience if the slider stuck all the way up. Because I know with a slider that's stuck halfway down, which I have listed here as a minor malfunction, shades off for this one, I actually jumped my base canopy on some hop and pops. And as you'll see here, I have footage of actually my slider being stuck halfway. And this is what I did, shades back on. You're going to want to check your altitude and if you have the time. If you are still above the decision altitude for emergency procedures, release the brakes and pull the toggles down to your crotch for two seconds in an effect to stall the canopy and relieve some of the pressure spreading of the canopy. Repeat if necessary. Pump the steering lines up and down. If the slider descends within 10 to 12 inches of the connector links, that is close enough. Shades off. The easiest thing you want to do, and let's say your slider is working its way down, but it's kind of having a hard time. This is what I did, and you're going to see it in the footage. I just put my hands up, I grabbed my brakes, and I pumped them. I like did almost a fully flare. I held it for two seconds, and then I just keep kind of pulling and kind of trying to create pressure in the canopy and like make it open up all the way so that the slider can do its job and move all the way down. I don't know. You'll see it here. Just pump the shit out of your brakes, and uh, hopefully the slider will come down. <laughs> But once again, this is not a big deal. This is no reason to cut away. I've dealt with this personally myself. So once again, just grab the brakes, pump them, pump them, pump them. The slider should come all the way down. Cool, you got their slider. Now we can go ahead and land it. Everything's peaches and cream. Everybody's happy. Number three, what to do in case of closed end cells. Closed end cells is a minor malfunction. They occur when the pressure outside of the canopy is greater than the pressure inside. They usually happen during canopy surge on opening, but they can also be caused by radical turns or turbulent air. To avoid end cell closures, fly with one quarter brakes to half brakes. To counteract end cell closures, push the toggles down to your crotch for a few seconds until the cells inflate then let the toggles up slowly, repeat if necessary. Guys, all you're gonna wanna do is your, if your canopy is not inflating all the way, you're gonna grab your toggles and just like it said there, you're gonna pull them down to your crotch for two seconds, fully flare, punch that thing out. And then by the end time you know it, if you raise it up nice and slowly, your canopy should be fully inflated. And then once again, you can fly all the way home, go ahead and grab dinner with your mom, your family and everything. Peaches and cream, we're on our way to do another skydive, another great jump. All right, and look at that, just like that, we're done. I need to do a skydive and I need to get out of here. But if you liked that video, go ahead and uh, click this one. This is gonna be 30 minutes of skydiving fun that I had when I was first getting into the sport. This is gonna be a compilation of basically my first, I think it's 100 or 200 jumps. Check it out, it's also my most viewed video. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and do all that fun stuff. Love you guys. Uh.